All right, guys, we're coming through this uh, thing. And guys, I got great news. I see butterflies. I see butterflies. I see a lot of butterflies. In our trap right here, we've got tawny emperors. I see question marks. I see red admirals. There's there's butterflies, guys. I am I can't. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to take one and make sure I get at least at least one. Okay. All right. Let me see. Okay. All right. Guys, female tawny emperor. I'm I can't show you really the inside of her wings at this moment, but Look how big the abdomen is, guys. She is full of eggs, and she's been feeding on our bait this whole time. And, guys, I, I know she's going to lay some eggs for me, so I'm going to take a couple of these. And what I'm going to do is I've got this Tupperware. And I'll put her in. Okay. Okay, uh, guys, we're going to – we need to get eggs from our tawny emperors. And so what we need is hackberry. Hackberry are these trees that are basically making up the entire canopy of this hammock. And so that's why there's so many of them here. What we need is some fresh hackberry leaves uh, like this. This looks great right here, guys. See this right here? Nice fresh hackberry leaves. This is uh, Celtus. And I'm going to use a knife. Always keep a knife with me. And I am going to I'm gonna cut some hackberry. And that stem should be big enough for me to put in a container with the tawny emperors so that we can get some eggs. And guys, I'm gonna do the same thing with the question marks plant, and we'll get it going, guys. So I'm gonna bring these stems back to my truck sorry for the noise there's a pump going right there i wish i could have picked a better quieter spot to do my video but ultimately i'm going to close my knife so i don't hurt myself put it away and then i have a, a garbage bag here actually you know what I don't know if I like the garbage bag. It has like this lavender smell on it. My wife likes it because it makes the garbage smell better. But I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Instead of using that, I'm going to use a gallon Ziploc bag and just try to jam it in there. Because I don't know if the chemical that they put in for the lavender will mess up the smell of the butterfly to egg, lay eggs on the hackberry. So I'm going to put a little bit of water in the Ziploc bag. And let's see how I do this. We'll see if this all fits. So kind of bend the stems. <clears throat> Try to slide them inside. Yeah, we fit. We fit. Just kind of try and zip this up. Hackberry's another tree that is tough. Uh, it will wilt pretty quickly. I got all my hackberry stems in one bag. I'm gonna pop them in my cooler. And when we get home, We'll set them up for some egg laying. Awesome. Guys, I'm gonna put some water in a cup. And it's gonna have some, a lid with uh, little slits in the top. We're gonna put it in the bottom here. Now, we're gonna get our host plant. This is the second way we're gonna try and get eggs. So we've got here, So we've got hackberry tree limbs in water. 
and then we're going to put those inside the bucket So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a couple banana pieces in on top of the cup. So if the butterflies wanna find that and eat it, they can. I'll also put some on the top here, on the top of the screen. So the, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take, we're gonna take this net bag from our net, since I don't have any other cloth right now, and I'm just going to, I'm just going to, I'm going to tie this like this with these, with these twisty ties, put the butterflies inside and call it a day. So let's go get our butterflies. I don't know how that happened. <clears throat> All right, I've got three female tawnies right here. So what I'm going to do, and I'm going to place my tawny emperors deep inside let them wake up and then okay I'm gonna twisty tie this together and then last step so I'm gonna put a couple bananas right on the top so if they want to come to the top which they normally do they have something to eat now placement of this is gonna be a little interesting you don't want it in direct sunlight so I'm going to see where the best place is to place it I'm gonna put it on the side of my house under a table actually right there good for now all right so I'm gonna put it on a table right here on the side of my house Butterflies are in constant contact with the host plant. The host plant, uh, their, their taste buds are on their feet. So when they crawl on the host plant, they should get stimulated to lay eggs. And uh, there's three butterflies in here. They've got food. Let's see how this works compared to the butterflies we set up in the cages on the living host plant. So that's kind of a little bit of an experiment that I'm doing. I know she's going to lay me eggs, guys. I know it. Let's check this out. Thank you. 